This is the Kepler's first law part of the Planetary Orbit Simulation Lab. Right now we are at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln Planetary Orbit Simulator. And I'm just going to move this up so that we can see the whole simulation. Alright, so right now we're going over Kepler's first law, which is that planets move around stars in ellipses. And what you need to know is that this thing right here is a star, this thing right here is a planet, and this white line is the path that the planet takes around the star. And you're going to be able to see that when we start the animation. So you start the animation, and this is these are the things that you're going to be doing. So I'm not going to do all the instructions, I'm just going to show you where things are. So, if you need to change the size of the semi-major axis, or A, then you can play with this toggle. And actually for this one, it's better if we turn on the solar system first. So this is another thing you're going to need to do, is to show the solar system orbits, planets, and labels. Now, as you, as you change the semi-major axis, you can see that you can make it as small as Mercury, or smaller, and much bigger than Pluto. What we're going to do is we're going to just set this back to 1 which is about the same the size of the semi-major axis as Earth. Um, as you can see, Earth is not the same shape as this because this current path that we have has an eccentricity of 0.4. As an eccentricity reaches zero, it becomes a circle. And that's really close to what the Earth's orbit is like. As the eccentricity gets closer to one, it becomes more and more stretched out. The other piece of information that you're going to need to, to be able to see are this R1 and R2 values. And you can see those by adding on the radial lines. So we have R1, which is the distance from the planet to the sun, and R2, which is the distance from the planet to the second focus. And R1 plus R2 is always going to be 2 times A. A is the, the length of the semi-major axis, and now you can see that too. And if that's from the, the center of the ellipse out to either periapsis, which is over here, periapsis is here, or apoapsis, which is out here. This is the, the furthest point that the planet is in its orbit, and the closest point the planet is in its orbit. The other nice thing to be able to see is the semi-minor axis, right there. So those are all the different things that you're going to meet need to do part one or part a of this this lab We've got some sketching to do and some questions to answer